The battle over the long-term care of the men and women who fought for Canada entered a new phase today with the loudest calls yet for the Minister of Veterans Affairs, Julian Fantino, to be sacked. He was back on Parliament Hill today for the first time since a series of stumbles inside his department. The opposition took no prisoners. Here's CTV's Katie Simpson. The Honourable Minister of Veterans Affairs. Julian Fantino appeared in the House for the first time in well over a week and was greeted with demands for his departure. Will the Minister for once do the honourable thing and resign? His portfolio has been grossly mismanaged and when the Auditor General blows the whistle, the Minister is AWOL. Will the Prime Minister fire this failed minister? The Veterans Affairs Minister defended his position despite loud criticism from vets and the opposition Order. on how he's handled Order. mental health services. While the opposition resort to exploiting veterans, fear-mongering and mudslinging, we on this side of the House are continuing to make real tangible improvements to the mental health programs and other resources available to veterans. But the minister wasn't in the country when the Auditor General announced the long-term care program is too complicated and seriously flawed. Fantino went to Italy that day for a Second World War anniversary event. And I'm very proud of having done that, Mr. Speaker. And in my world, lest we forget, means something. How about showing up for work and taking care of them when they're alive? He also refused to directly answer questions about the timeline of a new $200 million mental health program. When the announcement was made, a press release said the money would be spent over six years, but it will actually be given out over the next 50. For this veteran, a change in leadership is desperately needed. Obviously, they do not understand the extent of the emergency and mental health injuries for our soldiers and their families. I don't think this minister is capable of doing the job right. There are signs Stephen Harper is standing behind the minister. A trusted member of the Prime Minister's communications team is moving to Julian Fantino's office to become his new chief of staff. Lisa. All right, Katie Simpson in Ottawa tonight. The NDP is also 